Hello, lovely people. Uh, it's lovely to be here. Um, I wish, I wish I'd known that this was a good idea for a birthday present, because uh, it's actually my mum's birthday tomorrow. Uh, I know, it's nice, isn't it? My mum, though, is really difficult to buy for. Uh, so this year, I've decided to take her to a spa. And that way she can do her own shopping. <laughs> um, to be honest, I'll be really honest, I don't, I don't like going shopping with my mum. Because she's always getting chocolate and biscuits and crisps. You know, back out of my trolley. <laughs> Um, I, I think she's trying to be kind. I think she's trying to be helpful because I have been trying to lose a bit of weight lately. Um, you know, it's time, don't you, when other people start to mention it. Uh, that happened to me in a shop recently. Um, when I got to the front of the queue, the first thing the assistant said to me was, I'm sorry about your weight. <laughs> Thought it was a bit rude, but... Um... So anyway, I've joined Slimming World. Anybody else ever done Slimming World? Yeah? Oh, a few of us out there. Uh, for those of you who haven't and don't know how it works, um, you're allowed to have unlimited free food. Uh, and then you can have five sins every day. So far, I've been sticking to two. Gluttony and sloth. Um... So I, I've been going every week to get weighed in, and uh, while you're waiting, next to the scales, they have these little motivational posters for you to read. Uh, things like, we are all beautiful on the inside. <laughs> uh, last week, there was one that said, your weight does not define who you are as a person. It is only a measure of the force that gravitation exerts upon a body equal to the mass of the body times the local acceleration of gravity. Uh, so I have learned a lot. I've learned a lot by going to Slimming World. Uh, I learned that most people eat when they're bored. Uh, so that's mostly during Slimming World meetings. And, um, so the advice, the advice is that you should get out of the house, take up a hobby. Um, so I decided that I would take some driving lessons and upgrade my automatic license uh, to a manual, um, which is what I've been doing. I took my test two weeks ago. Uh, I had a very chatty driving examiner. She was lovely. On the way round, she was telling me all about her last boyfriend's performance in the bedroom. Apparently, he made excellent use of mirrors, uh, gave clear signals before changing speed and position, uh, didn't always take adequate precautions before entering a junction, uh, but she did dump him when he attempted to go the wrong way down a one-way street and failed to perform an emergency stop. Um, anyway, I did pass, so that's all good. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, a lot of people at my Slimming World group are there because they're trying to lose weight for their weddings. Um, I am actually being chief bridesmaid for one of my friends this summer, uh, which means I get to help make all the arrangements. Uh, we've just ordered a marquee, but I am hoping to fit into a dress by the wedding. Um, I was relieved, actually. I was relieved that she didn't choose to have one of those um, themed weddings. Because uh, I went to one of those last year. It was a Lord of the Rings wedding. Yeah, I mean, it was all right, because the bride was dressed as Galadriel and the groom was Aragorn. It did take them 40 minutes to get the rings off the best man. Um, I went as a hobbit. Uh, but that was just because I couldn't be bothered to dress up. Um, I think it's a bit of an age thing, actually, because uh, I, I had uh, my birthday recently as well. Um, and I have noticed that a few things about me have changed as, uh, as I'm getting older. Um, I decided on my birthday that I would treat myself. I went to Oak Furniture Land. <laughs> Anybody ever been to Oak Furniture Land? Yes. Well, I'm not going again because the rides were rubbish. <laughs> Um, 
I also decided that I ought to do my bit to make the world a better place. Uh, so I signed up with the EDL. <laughs> because I thought they were a green energy company. <laughs> Turns out they only do white power. Um, I've noticed, actually, as I've got a little bit older, that uh, my memory's going a little bit. Uh, like the other day, I put something down, and I could not remember where. Turned out it was at the vets. No, I'm, a, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I, I love animals. Uh, I have got a cat. Uh, well, I used to have. Um, uh, so, um, so the other things uh, about get, getting a little bit older and having a bad memory, um, I decided that I would use little rhymes, little mnemonics to help me remember things. Uh, things like, Richard of York gave battle in vain. And that reminds you of the colours of the rainbow. Or, never eat shredded wheat. And that reminds you that you're gluten intolerant. <laughs> Um, the other thing, the other thing that you start to worry about as you get a little bit older, you start to worry about your appearance. Uh, so I thought I would try oil of ole, uh, because apparently that fights seven signs of aging. I have no idea what they are, uh, but I think the first one is the inability to distinguish between bottles, because I came home with fabric conditioner. <laughs> Uh, luckily, all was not lost, because it says on the bottle that Lenore fights three signs of ageing. So I am now fully protected from stretching, fading and bobbling. Uh, also reduces static, which is excellent, because my boyfriend's always wanted me to be less clingy. And if I should get abducted and murdered by a serial killer... I'll smell fresh in a cupboard for up to 12 weeks. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. I've been dialysis. You've been amazing. <laughs>